In this demo, we will learn how to generate your first cookbook and recipe, understand the compliance control file, establish a connection with the correct certificate and credentials file, run a syntax check, and push the cookbook to the infra server. Before you begin, verify if you are using the latest version of Chef Workstation. Then execute the command chef generate repo chef setup demo in your work directory. This will auto create a few work directories like cookbooks, policy files, data bags, and so on, pre configured with certain default recipes. From the command line, run knife to fetch the SSL key, check it, and confirm the configuration. Use subcommands to copy and store SSL certificates from the HTTPS server to the trusted certificates directory used by Knife and Chef Infra Client. When these certificates match with the remote server's host name, you can use the Knife SSL command to verify if the remote servers are accessible. In the root of your cookbook repo, Execute the command chef generate cookbook server hyphen k docken. This will create a new cookbook named server and auto create a kitchen YAML file pre configured to work with the test kitchen docken docker file. In the new server cookbooks directory, create a new recipe with the command chef generate recipe web server which will create a file web server RB alongside an existing default RB recipe file. Then edit the recipe as per your requirements. In this example, we are initially checking if the platform is Debian. If yes, we will install the Nginx package and restart the server. Now create an attributes file to enable the compliance phase reporting for Automate. An attribute is a specific detail about a node which Chef Infra Client uses to understand the current state of the node, what the state of the node was at the end of the previous Chef Infra Client run, and what the state of the node should be at the end of the current Chef Infra Compliant run. To create an attribute file, run the Chef Generate Attribute Default command. Edit the default RB and add the following to enable compliance reporting in Automate via the CLI. Every cookbook requires some metadata. Metadata RB is located at the top of every cookbook directory structure, which provides information about the user that helps the chef client and server correctly deploy cookbooks to each node. Once the recipes are saved, you can run cook style against the cookbook to check for syntax errors. In addition, you can use cook style hyphen A to autocorrect errors on individual files or directories of files. Compliance profiles can be placed inside a cookbook and uploaded as part of a policy file workflow all in one step. The cookbook generator will create a compliance folder and subdirectories automatically. However, you can manually create them with the command make dir hyphen p compliance profiles inputs waivers. Your compliance profiles should be given names that describe what they do. You can have more than one profile and control files. We use inspec in this scenario to generate a web server profile with the command inspec init profile web server. The inspect command creates a directory named web server and a subdirectory called controls. Inside controls is an example rb file. I generally rename the example rb file to default rb, but you could give it an even more meaningful name like nginx port rb. Chef will run all files in the controls folder. Edit the default RB file and add controls. In this case, 
I'm testing if the web server runs on port 80. You can also add controls to check the version of Nginx and perform other actions. To complete the profile configuration, edit the inspec YAML file. The title you use here should match the title in your profile file. Also, add details concerning the maintainer and copyright email. Finally, run cookstyle-a to run a syntax check and remediate it if there are errors. When your recipes are error-free, you can upload them to the Chef Infra server using Knife Cookbook Upload Server. In the following video, we will examine policy files and how to execute recipes within cookbooks.